Hey, what's up? Rob here. You're watching Man vs. Art, the show where I take trending art projects and styles from the internet and try to become an artist by doing them right here on the show. And this week's inspiration actually comes out of Berlin, where I saw an artist making these screen prints using awesome looking manhole covers that they found throughout Europe. So this week I'm walking around my mountain town of Asheville, North Carolina, to see if I can find any cool manhole covers around the city. What's this one in the middle of the street? Oh, all right, never mind, never mind, never mind. What about this one? Nope. Eh, that's a cool one, but... All these cool ones are in the middle of the goddamn street. This is harder than I thought it was gonna be. Can't do this one. I like that design, but it's too fucking big. There's a couple cool ones in front of this bar right here. Well, this is weird. I've got a beer all of a sudden. How the f did that happen? I don't know. It'll definitely make this process more interesting though. Boring, boring, boring. All of these fucking suck. All right, so from what I'm learning, we have a lot of really fucking boring manhole covers in this town. I don't know what to do at this point though. All right, so now I found myself wandering uh, through random neighborhoods, trying to find manhole covers possibly around here, but they're all, they're all the same thing. Wait a second. Oh, look at this one. It's got the trees, the mountains, the clouds. Oh, that's some art right there. That is some art. All right, we found it. Time to get the supplies and time to do this thing. <sighs> Rob's making me do illegal things again. You look at you with the excitement in your eyes. <laughs> it's also really cold outside. Yay. Wow, this would make a cool print. All right, I don't even, I don't even try this. I don't even know if this works. Banksy would already have all this set up. If the cops come, I'm running. You're running? That way. No, you gotta get all that on tape. Stressful. <sighs> You're telling me. Okay. I'd be worried about the paint drying really fast, so you gotta move quicker. No. Oh Jesus. my god. Hello. She's gonna call the cops on us. You gotta get all the wrinkles out though. I just want I just wanna show people my nails. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Say a little prayer for the rare. Yeah, there you go. I see your butt crack though. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God damn it, it didn't work. No, it didn't. This looks like garbage. Yep, it does. Oh, son of a bitch. I thought it's not the right type of paint. Yes, it is. No. We need to regroup, regroup. Are you gonna clean it off? Yeah. I see, that's nice of you. You already planned on cleaning it up. At least there's that. What a service you're doing for the community. I mean, this is what this show's all about, isn't it? Actually testing these things out and seeing if you can actually make them really work, right? That's the point? Yeah. Now Rob's making me walk around and look for manhole covers. It's freaking freezing out here. Sanitary sewer, nobody wants that in this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, actually. I mean, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, f you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. See, the problem is, is like, there are all different levels. I think that if you just put the shirt on flat, maybe in the Without a board? Yeah. All right. We come back tomorrow and we'll try to get this one. Have you considered this though? Oh, God. How many dogs do you think have peed on that? <laughs> oh. All right, ran across this one yesterday in this park that nobody's at. All right, this time I'm just quickly applying this water-based shirt printing ink, which is once you start rolling it on, let me tell you the truth, very satisfying. This is nice. And then this time I'm just using my hands to gently press against all of the edges and shapes, get all the different grooves. All right, and the moment we've all been waiting for, for at least me. Oh, come on, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that looks like shit. Looks like someone who was using this thing to work on their car. The problem with this one is that all the different things are at different levels. And so you can't really get a good print. It just kind of looks all like shit. All right, let's get out of here. Well, f me. I guess I'm going for broke over here. I've got a manhole cover on my own property, which I'm gonna try to use. Let's give that a try. City of Asheville. It's got kind of a cool pattern on it. 
I don't know if anyone's gonna mind if I take it in my backyard. I don't even know what's underneath there. Water meter. Oh yeah, what the fuck? Oh, that is a, that is a big fucking spider right there. And a whole nest of eggs. I'm pretty sure that's a black widow spider. All right, got that off of there. Just throw this garbage can over it for right now. All right, made it to the backyard. Next step, clean this thing up a little bit. I'm using some matte fabric paint here and a roller to get this applied. All right, I'm throwing a thick coat over on this one, getting it nice and covered, then applying the shirt face down. And now I've seen a couple people using rolling pins, so I'm gonna give that a try. And what do we got? What? Damn, that actually, that actually doesn't look too bad. I may have actually been too quick to judge uh, on the boring manhole covers I saw downtown because this looks pretty, pretty fucking cool. I think as long as you have the city of Asheville on there, you're doing pretty okay. The locals, the locals will eat that shit up. And the pattern, the pattern comes out pretty industrial looking. Looks pretty fucking punk rock. I don't know. I kind of really like these. All right, I think we're done. Uh, let's get this manhole cover back on. All right, time to put this back. Oh, shit. Did you see that? That was a big fucking spider. Wait, hold on. Where'd they go? quick done well i got a good amount of prints made here in the backyard a total of about eight shirts here i didn't know if i'd finish this project in time but this weekend Asheville holds its largest craft fair of the year the big crafty it's downtown in a huge civic center so i'm hoping that maybe i can sneak myself into it and try to sell these things i don't know what else to do with them wish me luck all right so i'm walking up to the uh the civic center i've just got a bag i've got a Garment rack. Oh, f***ing hills. A f***ing nightmare. I'm gonna try to sneak in the back door here through like the service entrance. All right, we're in. That was pretty easy. I'm just gonna use the service elevator. And we just gotta set up somewhere. All right, I'm gonna sneak into this little corner over here. I'm gonna like build the garment rack back here and then get going. We got ourselves a, a booth in the middle of the crowd. Thank you so very much. Awesome, thanks. Nice. I'm just waiting for like the, the guy who like runs this thing to come on over and just kick my ass out. We got another customer. Did you make it with your hands? These hands. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Awesome. Thank you so very much. You guys are the best. All right, well, I have like pretty much sold out of shirts real quick. I kind of want one myself, so I'm going to grab this one, and that's pretty much it. There's like one shirt left. I'm going to close this out here before I get caught and, uh, and just break this down. All right, we fucking did it. That was awesome. I just made like 60 bucks over here selling t-shirts randomly at a craft fair which is probably more than this video is gonna make so next year i'm legit gonna probably buy a table and just do this for real in the meantime however if you find any cool manhole covers in your city and decide to give this project a try be sure that you tag me over on instagram at rob zart be sure to follow me over there as well and if you have any suggestions for future projects be sure that you leave them down below oh yeah uh big news a lot of you have been asking uh where you can buy my art where you can get some prints i just set up uh, my own web store web store web page i don't know thezartgallery.com you can go over there for more information you can buy stuff grab something for yourself uh, for the holidays somebody else i don't know i'll leave that information down in the description below thanks again for watching man versus art i'll see you around here next time